people the chance of talking to each other over the airwaves became legal today. It follows years of campaigning by many thousands who have been using it illegally until now. Licenses which give people permission to use the sets can be bought at post offices. It's predicted that about one million of the new legal sets which use the FM radio band will be sold in the first year. But sets using the AM band are still illegal. Britain plan is going smoothly for the repeat flight of America's space shuttle Columbia. Never before has a spaceship been used twice, and the mission will be far more challenging than Columbia's first flight back in April. For a start, it'll last for five days instead of two, and the astronauts, Richard Truly on the left of the picture, and Commander Joe Engel will go round the world 83 times. And the cargo bay, which was empty last time, will be loaded with scientific and engineering experiments. Newsround space editor Reg Turnell will be covering the mission for us for, from America, and he sent us this report as the shuttle squad gets ready for the launch. As the seconds tick away towards Columbia's second blast-off, the astronauts will be preparing for what's easily the most dangerous part of the whole mission. And this time there'll be a lot more tension in Cape Canaveral's launch control than on the first flight, when everything seemed to be going fine. It was only later, when this film and the instruments were studied, that it was realised Columbia had come very near to disaster moments after launch. The enormous blast from the two solid rockets on each side of Columbia was four times more powerful than expected. The blast bounced off the launch pad and damaged the supports for Columbia's manoeuvring engines, as well as knocking off some of those famous tyres. To make sure Columbia isn't put in such danger this time, extra safety precautions have been taken. As Columbia leaves the pad, huge jets of water, spraying a thousand gallons a second, will be aimed directly under the flames to stop the blast bouncing back. But once clear of the tower, Columbia rolls gracefully round so that the rockets can be safely jettisoned. That's a tricky operation, but nothing to the great danger of those first few seconds after the launch. Reg Turner reporting for News Round from Mission Control. And we hope to be bringing you the latest news of Columbia's flight as it happens, including live coverage of the return to Earth in a News Round special next Monday. But for now, bye-bye.